Were you talking to people, these your peers, about how to handle this kind of thing, how they oh, might well, handle we, it? We always talk, you know, with with each other at times. So what'd you do in the situation? What kind of information did you get? Uh, and so with this, because it was so unusual, there was not necessarily uh, a lot of uh, expertise <laughs> in how to handle a situation. Uh, that they haven't really dealt with before. Tell us what the next steps are here at the AIA for dealing with this. So uh, again, we got information from the Tempe District. So our process is when we get information, then we will share it with any school that has been uh, mentioned or a part of this uh, issue. So we've reached out to all the schools that we uh, saw had emails to and ask them, uh, here's the information we have. You please need to do an investigation on your campus and you need to report back to the staff so that we can bring that back to our board. If there is a violation uh, by a school, then you need to bring that forward with your corrective action. Uh, if there is no violation, please give us a report on how you uh, went through the process of of uh, investigating this. When the AIA says to the schools, you need to do an investigation, do you have the power of, you know, kind of a cop to say you've got to do this? Yes, yes. If we ask for that, then they are required to get back to us. And then, uh, and at that point, the board can look at the information that they've presented to the board. At that point, they can make a determination if there is a penalty or if they may accept the report as written. Well, how many schools was this, or school districts was uh, this? We have uh, about eight or n about eight schools in Arizona. What kind of violations would they be looking for? Well, we have a, uh, in our coaches coaching uh, section of our bylaws, we have uh, the practice of a level playing field that you would not engage in any activity that would be um, uh, detrimental to the level playing field or or the integrity of the game itself. I was looking at that last night, 17, 4, 3, 6, demonstrate high ideals, good habits, and desirable attitudes. Is, is that the one right that's, there? That's the one that we would that we would look at and again depending on the information that they receive. So we have the information that most everybody has from the Tempe district of things that they did there um, computer searches on on who uh, this this gentleman had communicated with. What we did not have is was there any response to that email, uh, and meaning was there a reply back, or what what took place? We have nothing that shows, um, you know, a conversation back mm. and forth between coaches. So that's when we go to the school. What what can you tell us? Is that kind of the the trigger here? Well, the, yeah, in, in uh, other words, so if he just sent this to you as Mesa Mountain View AD mm -hmm. uh, or coach, mm -hmm. and you just looked at it and did nothing. Correct. Now, what we would hope, mm -hmm. what we would hope is, in a situation like that, that a coach, an administrator, could communicate that if it's re referencing a sister school, a association school, that we would notify them that, hey, I don't know what this is. This doesn't make any sense, but you need to know we're getting some information that's coming representing your school, uh, and we've got a problem. You know, We're not gonna do anything with this, but please notify. We would hope that that has happened. I have communicated with a couple of schools mm -hmm. uh, in preliminary discussions. Uh, reports are coming, but in fact, uh, that did take place. 